have a FHU in front of us. Okay, so we'll discuss about the different kind of section and parts of FHU. Okay, so we'll discuss about the field water distribution systems uh, for FHU, and uh, we'll discuss about the air distribution of FHU as well as the parts. We'll start from the filter sections. There are two filter you will find from the uh, in HU. So this is the duct connected from ambition. I mean outside. Okay. So this is the VCD volume control damper, and uh, this is our back filter. Uh, sorry, pre filter. So the efficiency of pre filter is 30 percent. That means the pre filter can arrest 30 percent of the dust uh, where the air comes from outside. Then after that, uh, this is the DPS. Okay. So there are two. DPS one is there, another one is there. DPS means differential pressure switch. Okay, so it will monitor the filter, which is integrated with our building management systems. Uh, if our filter will block, then you will get to know by the BMS systems. Okay, so then this is our back filter. So back filter uh, section, we cannot wash the back filter. Only it can be changed depending on the environmental factor and the uses. Okay, so back filter. The efficiency of back filter is 65 percent. Is that means our back filter can arrest 65 percent of the dust from outside. Okay, so after the uh, filter section, we will move to the heat recovery wheel. So this is the heat recovery. Wheel. You can see this is the controlling system, and this is a small motor which is controlling by this controlling center. Okay, so this is the heat recovery wheel, which is made with high conductivity material with honeycomb structure, and heat recovery wheel. Uh, the main purpose of the heat recovery wheel to recover the heat that means energy from the exhaust air you can see here there is a big wheel okay so it will also uh, affect the sensible heat and latent heat that means it will affect the temperature as well as humidity okay so it is made with you can see honeycomb structure with high conductivity material okay so half of the uh, half of the part of heat recovery wheel with uh, uh, fresh air sections and half of the uh, wheel In exhaust systems, okay, you can see only half of the section here. Then after that, uh, this is the coil section, so where the chilled water is connected. Okay, so it is made with uh, made with uh, uh, copper copper coil, so which is uh, uh, which is uh, the copper coil which is uh, uh, controlling the chilled water. Okay, and after that, we will move to the motor and blower section. This is most important section of FHU, okay. Uh, you can see here. Okay, so this is our motor and blower section. So this is a belt-driven blower. Okay, so this is the motor, three-phase induction motor, which is uh, uh, which is controlling, which is operating the blower. Okay, so this is belt-driven type blower. You can see here, and there is a light. Okay, so if you open the FHU, it will automatically on. During the maintenance, you need proper light to do the job. Okay, so also uh, the uh, motor. Okay, so this is the mechanism to adjust the uh, belt tension. Okay, so you can uh, adjust the belt tension by here. Okay, move the uh, belt. Okay, then so after that we will move to the chilled water section. Then after chilled water system, we'll discuss about the uh, controlling uh, air controlling system. Okay, so there are two chilled water system. This one is chilled water in. Always the chilled water should be in from downside, and this is the return line. Okay, so in chilled water in, you can see there is a bypass wall. So bypass wall is required to do the flushing, back flushing, forward flushing, and maintenance of the FHU. Okay, so this is the pressure gauge. Okay, we'll get to know the pressure, and this is a wall. This is the butterfly wall. we can isolate and regulate our chilled water and uh, this is the chilled water return line okay so these are the drv double way regulating wall also uh, uh, double way regulating wall for balancing the chilled water and this is the actuator wall we can controlling the chilled water okay so the most important thing while we are controlling chilled water is balancing we need to balance the chilled water by drv Double way regulating wall. Then we have to control by actuator wall, and we can isolate and regulate by butterfly wall. Okay. So this is the air uh, vent. Okay. So we can the air will be released uh, by this air vent automatically. Okay. So this is the chilled water distributions. Then 
for air distribution for controlling there is uh, uh, avt air velocity transmitter which is uh, uh, which is uh, avt and also there is a sensor for humidity and temperature okay which is uh, integrated with our bms systems bms systems by bfd if the uh, as well as it is, it is uh, controlling the static pressure if the static pressure will be high if someone will close the valve uh, uh, bfd then the static pressure will be high then our bfd frequency will be decreased it depend upon the static pressure okay and then apart from that there is a dps differential pressure switch switch which monitor the filter and also there is a vcd volume control damper we can uh, control we can control the air flow by this uh, volume control damper okay so the off section is for uh, exhaust air and down section for fresh air okay so this is a fresh air handling unit where we can provide the fresh air to our building as per the standard each person required 15 to 20 cfm of fresh air okay so this is the duct section which is connected uh, to the building